Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I have not been active on YouTube in a while. I'm so sorry about that, but I'm back and I'm going to do one of the videos that I used to do back in the day. I used to love filming these videos and I'm bringing them back because I think you guys love them as well. And as you can see from the title, today I'm gonna to be doing an in-depth review, demo, share my thoughts, share my opinions, kind of do like check-ins throughout the day of the brand new Makeup Forever. This is called the HD Skin Foundation. And let me just say, when I saw this foundation all over social media, I was just like, oh, I don't know why, I don't know why. Like something about this packaging is just so stunning to me. Let's just go ahead and talk about the details of this foundation. So this is the auto packaging, just very simple. By the way, the shades of this new foundation, HD Skin, is different than um, the HD foundation from, like the original HD foundation from Makeup Forever, picture right here. For reference, in the original foundation, I'm in the shade Y405. I'm like pretty sure I should have checked, but I'm pretty sure that's my shade. So if you buy the foundation, it will show you the new shade right here. And then this is the shade of the HD foundation. I'm not sure why they didn't just like carry over the HD shades into this new formula just to like simplify it for everybody, but I just want to say that. Um, so it does come in 40 shades and it's called the HD Skin Undetectable Longwear Foundation. We'll see how undetectable it really is. It retails for $43. And you do get 1.01 ounces, which is like pretty standard uh, for most foundation. It is a liquid formula. It is waterproof. It is medium coverage, natural finish, long wearing, best for, for oily combo and normal skin. I have very dry skin. Okay, now it says on Sephora, it says an undetectable liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfections for up to 24 hours powered by a micro skin system that syncs with the skin for true to skin finish. Wow, okay. So now this micro skin system, which is trademark, it says follows skin movement, provides immediate high correction and smooth skin. Okay, so, um, oh, okay. So it says here, this is very interesting. It says the new and improved version of the Ultra HD foundation is powered by technology that, so are they not selling the original foundation? <gasps> is this like the updated one? Hold on a second, I need to see this. Okay, I'm back. So I thought that this foundation was in addition to all of the other complexion products from Makeup Forever, including the original Ultra HD. But this foundation, from my understanding, is actually replacing the original, which is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in the original, my shade again is Y405. You guys can see right there. And then this, for this new foundation, the HD Skin, my shade is Y4, no, 3Y40. So it's right there, 3540, right? 3Y40, wow, 3Y40, that's my shade right there. Okay, now, with all of that being said, let's just go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can really see my skin up close and personal. So again, it does come with a pump. I feel like that is just a must at this point, and I'm just gonna take one pump so you guys can see. I am just gonna go ahead and start to apply this on my skin. So I am also using this brush, by the way, from Rare Beauty. It's such a nice foundation brush. I highly recommend it. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this foundation on my skin. And I will say that this is definitely on the warm side, which is not necessarily like a bad thing. You guys know I love warm tone foundations. I, my skin is just very warm in general. So I definitely prefer that. Um, but I just want to call that out. So it might look, I don't know how it's like translating on camera, but like in person, this side of my face looks a little bit different than this side. But when I finish my entire foundation, you'll see it just like looks really even. So as I'm applying this, this goes on really, really smooth. It honestly feels like 
I have nothing on my skin. It's just so extremely lightweight. Um, and it just blends out. You can see like so easily. This is just one layer of the foundation and I still see my skin through it, right? Like you, it doesn't completely cover up my skin. This is not like a super full coverage foundation, but it just evens everything out. Again, you can see I have a little bit of discoloration there. You can still see it, but it just like smooths, not, yeah, it does smooth everything out, but also evens everything out. I am gonna go in and just do another layer um, just so you guys can see even when you build it it's so extremely natural okay so my foundation is all done and I just I love the coverage it looks so extremely natural um, and again I did two layers but it doesn't feel like I did two layers it just feels very lightweight on the skin looks extremely natural in person and Again, this is just one of those foundations that I think is great for every hey guys, day. I'm back and I finished the rest of my makeup. I know I'm gonna get asked like what, what I'm wearing maybe on my lips or my cheeks or whatever. So I am just gonna go ahead and list out all the products that I used on the screen right here, as well as link everything in the description box below. But I really, really love how my makeup turned out. I kind of wish I had like a hair tie so I can just like tie my hair back so you can really see my foundation, but I'll just quickly hold it up like this. Um, but I have to just say, I'm honestly not surprised how much I love this foundation because I love the original Ultra HD so much, but I feel like this is gonna be my new go-to everyday foundation just because it is lightweight, but it still gives you coverage. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels just like your skin, but better. Looks amazing. Like the color match is amazing. And I'm like shocked that I found a color match that's better than this one. Um, so I just really like it. And I definitely think that you guys are going to like it as well if you're looking for a perfect everyday foundation. And the best thing is with this foundation um, that it works for all different skin types as well. I know that this is not really meant for those with dry skin, but like it totally works for my very dry skin as well. Hey so Okay, so this is my check-in and it's actually being filmed um, a few days after the video that you guys have seen thus far, uh, like two days after. So basically I completely forgot to do a check-in the day I was filming the foundation review and I was like, ah, oh, I really wanna do a check-in. Um, and so I decided to wear this foundation today in the morning. It's now late in the evening. So I've had my makeup on for a full like 10 plus hours. So first things first, I have been wearing this foundation, <clears throat> excuse me, now for the past going on to three days in a row. Or, yeah, three days in a row. And overall, I really like it. And I'll tell you guys why I like it. But first, one of the claims that I saw online was that this was a 24-hour wear foundation. And after trying it on properly, I would really... I wouldn't really necessarily agree with that. I do think that this is a long lasting foundation for sure. Like you can see, let me zoom you guys in. You can see, by the way, do not judge my upper lip. I need to shave it. I just haven't had a chance. I'm gonna do that probably tomorrow. Um, but you guys can see my, my foundation and even like some of my blush and everything is still on, like on my cheeks. But the weird thing is that this foundation and I also just want you guys to know that I don't necessarily like touch my face throughout the day at all. I try not to, right? But it has completely come off on my forehead. Do you guys see that? Like how uneven it looks like right here. Um, it's completely come off. I'm like, like what the heck? How did it come off on my forehead? Um, also, you can really see along the nose. You see like this is my actual skin tone. Um, you can see it really kind of coming off right there. Let me like really zoom you guys in there. You can see probably now. And then same thing on my chin area as well. So truly like all of the T-zone, it's come off, which is so random. Like I've never really had a foundation do that. But that being said, I still really like this foundation. Um, and this is how I know I like a foundation. So when I like catch a glimpse of my makeup, throughout the day in the mirror and like I see my skin looking really good that's how I know I love the foundation the color match is amazing like you just can't deny it and this is a completely different night lighting so you can see it blends right in with my skin tone it looks so natural especially if you just do like one quick layer it will look like your skin but like a perfected blurred out like version of your skin so 
I really like this foundation. I also think that it's very versatile in that it is more like lighter coverage, but then you can build it to be more full coverage. So if you want to wear this today, uh, like during the daytime, you can totally do that. You could also wear it at night for a big occasion, event party, date night, whatever. You can totally like really make whatever you want out of this foundation. I also love that it is so lightweight. And I do like the fact that it is long lasting. Is it like the most long lasting foundation in my collection? No, it's not. You know what it is probably the longest lasting foundation in my collection? It's one from NARS. This one actually, wow. Grab that right in the front. Um, this one is super long lasting. It's the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. My shade is Syracuse if you're wondering. I love NARS foundation. Um, that is super long lasting. I wouldn't, to me, what I'm trying to say is like the long lasting factor is in the selling point. It does last a long time, but it's not like a 24 hour wear as, um, you know, it said on the website. So besides that, I think it's still like my makeup still looks pretty good. I think like it hasn't, you know, super creased or anything like that. So yeah, those are kind of my thoughts with this foundation. I still recommend it. I still really like it. I'm going to be using it nonstop. This is definitely going to be like my go-to foundation at the moment. Uh, it has been anyway. So I'm going to continue to use it. And I think if you guys like get a sample, try it out for yourself, I definitely think you guys are going to love this as well. So this has a thumbs up from me, but I did want to share my honest thoughts. So with that being said, we have made it to the end of the video. Let me know if you guys want to see more foundation reviews for my channel. I actually also do have the new NARS foundation, which I'm also testing out. Um, and I'm happy to share like my thoughts on this as well. So let me know if you guys want to see that next. Before you exit this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.